I am Tyler Ashlock. I'm a photographer here at Swanson Studio uh, based out of Portland, Oregon. The first time that I realized I had an interest in photography was I got a book from the school book fair. This is back in elementary school. The book was called How It's Made. And in there, there was a photograph that just opened my eyes to a whole other world. And that was a bullet flying through an apple. And you know, you could see the bullet in frame, you could see the apple start to like separate. And that's when I realized there was a whole world of things that happen so fast that you can't normally see with the naked eye. I got a, a Bachelor of Fine Arts degree from Pacific Northwest College of Art. I, I learned how to kind of see things, think about them, what do they mean, learn how to talk about them. It was really a hybrid of, of learning. It was kind of the fine art side from PNCA and then the commercial technical skills I learned here all at the studio. What I've learned is my lighting style is really an approach and that approach is thinking about shooting things as objects of desire, making you want it, making it beautiful, making, crafting something that is just really special, whether it's a person, place, or thing. Thinking about the influences of how I shoot, I have to think back to one of the photographers that really got me interested in photography, and that was Richard Avedon. Seeing his work and seeing how he went from the, the fashion commercial world, created a really successful career and got paid to do that type of work. It was a mix of commercial and a mix of, of fashion, but it really was artful. He's influenced me in a way to make art that is meaningful and deep and not just something that you're trying to sell. What interested me about commercial photography was getting to make art every day, getting to get a brief, here's what the client wants to do, and then look at that and then interpret it into how would I do that? How would I express that? And, and that crafting, that almost the performance of working for somebody and making something in real time is really satisfying. And then it, it, just how the styles of, of light and the market demands different looks and different things, you get to evolve and, and, and create new stuff that's, that's different. I'd say though a consistent theme of challenges is uh, super reflective surfaces chasing highlights, locking reflections. I feel like I'm good at that because I really like a challenge and it, it's, it's not just throwing light at something, it's really working hard to make something beautiful. It was a very easy decision to, have, to, to come to Broncolor as my, my go-to, my lighting of choice. Back in 2008, I did a campaign for Nike called Boom, where we had to break pieces of glass and get that exploded moment. I did lots of testing. I tested competitors' packs, I tested packs that we had, and I set up a series of light bulbs. And I would shoot them with a pellet gun and see how all these flying pieces of glass flying apart and looking at how long that blurred trail of light was from the flash duration. And it really was flash duration that sold me. I, I ended up renting some Scoro packs I was blown away how you could change the flash duration, shorten it up, and I put that through the same rigorous test of exploding light bulbs. It was a clear winner. It was the most frozen in time, like that freezed action, stopped action moment. You would look at the, all those tests side by side and it was like Bron Color was clearly the winner. So the, the flash duration is what sold me on Bron Color and the flash duration control on the packs is probably my favorite feature. When I first started in photography, I, I wanted to use soft boxes. And then what I realized is more of my style was something that had some directional shape. And open face reflectors became my thing. Even using the bare bulb, the quality of the bronze color flash tube has like an electricness, has like a sunshine feeling where you get these really hard shadows. Starting with something that kind of really could throw a lot of shape and then softening that up. The P70 is the, is the shaper I use the most, almost on every job, at least in the studio. Out of all the projects I've worked on, it's really hard for me to pick a favorite image, but one that I keep going back to is one that I shot early on in my career, 
of a Nixon watch exploding. It really was the, my apple and the bullet moment where it made me go back to the, what mesmerized me as a kid in school looking at that How It's Made book. And honestly, that project really helped spur me into a whole bunch of like high-speed photography for years, uh, which I really enjoy and love. From a philosophical standpoint, I love bronze color because they didn't lie about what they were saying that, that their lights could do. And so once I figured that out, it was really the clear choice.